PCPC kids, today we're going to read a story called Max's Dragon Shirt. It's from the Max and Ruby series, uh, but the storybooks were written way before there was a TV show of Max and Ruby. So I like to read some of the old ones. So this is called Max's Dragon Shirt. It's by Rosemary Wells. Max loved his old blue pants more than anything. Those pants are disgusting, Max, said Max's sister, Ruby. We're going to the store to buy you a pair of brand new pants, Ruby said. Dragon shirt, said Max. No, Max, said Ruby. Mother only gave me five dollars to buy pants. After that, there will be no money left. On the way up to boys' sports where Ruby saw a red dress that she absolutely loved. She thought she would try it on just for fun. It was too tight. Ruby wanted to find another dress. Wait there and don't move, said Ruby. Dragon shirt, said Max. Max, said Ruby, after we buy your new pants, we'll have no money left. Ruby put on a green dress. It was too big. Stay here for just a minute, Max, she said. Then she came back with a purple dress. The purple dress was ugly. I'll be right back, Max, said Ruby. Now in that picture, look at Max's eyes. Do you notice something? After a while, Max woke up. Ruby was gone. Did you notice that Max fell asleep? He wasn't awake. He doesn't know where Ruby is. He went to look for her. He saw her yellow dress and followed it out of Girls Better Dresses. into hats, and then into boys' sportswear, where he found a dragon shirt. Dragon shirt, please, Max asked Ruby. But it wasn't Ruby in the yellow dress. It was a teenager. Max screamed. I think he screamed. My goodness, I think he's a little lost. That's not Ruby. Back in girls' better dresses, Ruby heard it. She ran to the changing room. Max was gone. Ruby could not see him anywhere. She went down the escalator to makeup. Have you seen a little boy in blue pants? Ruby asked the perfume lady. No, said the perfume lady, but I have some nice blue perfume. Are you looking for a vacuum cleaner? Asked the man in large appliances. No, said Ruby, I'm looking for a little boy in blue pants. Ruby went up the escalator to boys' sportswear. Max, where are you? she shouted. Are you looking for someone? asked the sales lady. I'm looking for a little boy in blue pants, said Ruby. I saw a little boy in a green shirt, said the sales lady. He was looking for his sister in a yellow dress. That's me, said Ruby. No, it isn't, said the sales lady. That's a purple dress if I've ever seen one. Remember, Ruby changed dresses. Oh, my goodness. The sales lady made Ruby put on her own dress. Then she took her down the escalator to the restaurant. Your brother could use a new pair of pants, said the sales lady. Boys' pants are only $5 a pair this week. Max was eating ice cream with two policemen and the teenager. There was chocolate, strawberry, and pistachio ice cream all over the dragon shirt. That's a $5 shirt, said the sales lady. Ruby had to buy it. Yeah, if you get clothes from the store and you get them dirty, you have to buy them. No money left, said Max. You think Max is happy that he got ice cream and the dragon shirt and he got to keep his yucky old blue overalls? They're not very good. They have a lot of dirt and stuff on them. They're even a little bit breaking. But he must love those overalls. Sometimes you just love your old clothes and you want to keep them even when they don't fit so well anymore. Anyway, that was a fun book, Easy Peasy Kids. It was good to see you again. We miss you. And I hope you had fun reading Max's Dragon Shirt with me. Bye.